What's up, mates? I know you all are probably tired of contemporary chess as we know it, so I present to you exclusively on Forcement Chess Channel, Modern Chess. So let me explain what changed this time. Before the game begins, you need to set up your navy, which means that you basically can just put your ships anywhere you'd like. Oh, and by the way, just in case you're new to my channel, we make two turns per turn if it makes sense. One for land chess pieces, second for naval. Anyways, let's take a look at our new chess pieces. General. General behaves, moves and attacks, just like a king from the original chess game. Soldier, a replacement for a pawn, can move one square forward vertically and diagonally, attacks only one square forward diagonally. Artillery, well, this piece moves like that. This move pattern kind of reminds me of Rook. Anyways, whenever you'd like to attack with the artillery, you roll the dice. Whatever number you get is the range from 1 to 9 squares that your missile will travel before hitting your enemy, but you can only shoot forward. Also, the area of effect of an artillery shot is 3x3 three three, and it's capable of destroying trees. For anyone wondering, no, artillery won't do any harm to the mountain. So you better be careful with it. If you hit a tree with a shot, the tree gets destroyed. You can shoot ships, but can't shoot air targets. Grenadier moves like a knight. Whenever he attacks a piece, he explodes, dying in the process and also exploding diagonal squares around himself. Can attack ships, but can't attack air targets. Sniper can shoot anyone in a horizontal and vertical line around himself at any range, but can't attack through trees or rather chess pieces. Moves around himself for one square and can't attack one square around himself because, you know, snipers are pretty useless if you're right in front of them with a shotgun. Also can't attack ships. Cyborg. Right, next one is a cyborg. He moves and attacks exactly like a bishop. Harmer, an armored vehicle that moves exactly like a rook. Anti-air. Moves one square around himself and can only attack air targets in that pattern. If a plane gets in an anti-air attack range, it dies immediately. Drone. Flies three squares diagonally and can move above water. Uh, can move anywhere, actually, except in the squares where another chess piece is standing or if there's a mountain in front of him. If the drone is in the range of attack of his artillery, it gives the player an opportunity to select where he wants to shoot his artillery without rolling the dice, which is pretty nice. Now let's take a look at our naval chess pieces. Cargo ship can move up to two pieces on the sea, but a piece can neither attack nor move while being on the cargo ship. Can take any land piece one square away around himself. Taking and deploying a chess piece takes one turn. Can't attack, moves four squares in horizontal or vertical direction. Frigate moves in the same way as cargo ship, but in the range of 10 squares, but attacks only in 3 squares horizontally and vertically. Also can attack land if it stands right next to it. God moves and attacks for four squares in any direction, it doesn't shoot, works like any other chess piece, but can't attack land. Now that I'm done reading the patch notes, let's jump into our game. So, we are starting with setting up our ships. Also, you might ask me, what the hell is that? Well, you won't get to know until we release the second part of the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss it. Well, let's open up a cyborg and take poorly placed guard. He opened up a hammer. Let's put our cyborg under the trees, setting up sort of an ambush, you know. Do you guys think soldier is good for capturing crude oil on the map? Let's test it out. I can take some pieces with Cyborg for free over here. And while his hammer will take down a grenadier or any bunch of soldiers, he'll also lose his hammer, so it has to be a fair trade for sure. Let's take down his artillery, why not? I'll try to take down his cargo ship in next turns. You know what, let's protect that grenadier from Hama with a soldier. And put some pressure on the cargo ship. He opened up a cyborg to attack my artillery. Smart, but I'm smarter. I really want to flank his general with a frigate, but the guards just won't let me. Let's try to open up a way somehow. 
Alright, now that he can't really move his armor anywhere, I can attack it next turn with a cyborg. He'll get the third crude oil piece next turn, so better be careful. Let's trade gods, dude, come on! Let's proceed with a plan. And take down his god! Nice! Now I can flank his general and stop him from getting all the chess pieces on the cargo ship. Fuck! I take that hammer and then I can take another and if his grenadier will attack my cyborg, he's going to lose two of his grenadiers and a hammer, so I'm good there. Also, to hell with the oil, let's just take more of his pieces and try to think of a creative way to checkmate him. Whatever, let's get rid of that annoying cyborg. And deploy that soldier. I'd like to move artillery here, though. Let's threaten his another hammer. And move our cargo ship back so we can shoot down his trapped general with an artillery. Now that I've taken down both of his hammers, I can think of something else on the board. Actually, let's go around that island to flank the general, lol. My general is about to get flanked. Let's open up an artillery and then just gamble now. Also, I'll flank his ass too. He's about to lose. I just need one more turn. So now all we gotta do is move that king away from the checkmate. Oh, and by the way, do you guys think that the explosion on Grenadier's death will kill the frigate? Let me know in the comments. And the game is done! Checkmate, loser! Anyways, what do you guys think about this chess? Isn't it beautiful? Let me know your opinions in the comments. Also, a huge thanks for watching this video. I'd really appreciate if you subscribed and smash that like button. Bonus points for hitting the bell too.